Hello, it's Malcolm with Torch here from Malcolm 3D, and in this video we're going to be making these dungeon tiles of planks of wood. Now these are going to be uh, 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, or four squares, and we'll use Blender to model this up, and then we'll use Nender 3 to print it off. Now looking in Blender, we can see that these grids here, this is one Blender unit, which is pretty much like one meter. However, when we export it from Blender into a slicer, it's normally a millimeter. So just keep that in mind. Um, I will be using the default cube for once and I'm just going to rescale it. So I'm going to go numpad three to go into side view. Let's just turn on my keys so people can see. I'm going to tab to edit mode, press Z and go into wireframe mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to box select with B, all these G to move it, Z all the way up to the top. And I'm going to hold control to snap to grid. So at the moment we've got the sitting on zero and I'm going to do the same for up the top here. Box select, G, Z, and I'm gonna make this two millimeters thick. Sorry, 0.2 of a millimeter. So when we come in and scale this out, this will actually be five millimeters thick, which is about half a centimeter. So it's got a bit of thickness and it'll keep a bit of strength. So from here, this is our dungeon tile that we're gonna be working off. I want to add in some planks, so I'm going to go into face mode up the top here, right click on our top face, shift D to duplicate, and press G and Z to move it up, sorry, G and Z to move it up. From here what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the I button to do a little inset of the mesh so that it's off the edge of the model. And I'm just going to go into edge mode up here, alt right click to select the outside, delete vertices. Now what I want to do is I want to make a whole bunch of splits here so that we can kind of model the panels, uh, the floorboards. I'm going to do control R and use mouse wheel to scroll and that should be enough. And then I'm going to right click to recenter it. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do control R and let's put in how many we've got there. We've got six planks, seven, that's six planks. So if I now go right click, I don't think that's six planks. No, it is six planks. So if we have a look here, we've got kind of three planks on this side of the tile and three planks on this side of the tile, but it's all one mesh at the moment. So I'm gonna do control B to do a bevel, but I'm just gonna hold shift and scale out a little bit, delete bases. So now, kind of got these planks. They don't really look like planks. But now let's select everything with B again. And I'm going to do Control L to select everything that's connected. Let's extrude by pressing E down. And I'm just going to extrude down. So there we go. From here, I'm going to do Control L again to select everything linked. G, Z. And let's move that so it's just sitting on the surface. G, Z. All right, now if I press G, uh, Z and solid. Now we can see that we've got very nice, crisp floor panels. That's not what we want. We want a little bit of grittiness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select that vertice there, come up here into proportional editing, turn that on. Let's select uh, the option next to it and say connected only. And I'm gonna turn on random. So now if I press G, and I move it, you can see kind of everything moves that's connected to only that mesh. Now if I use ma mouse wheel scroll up, it'll make that circle smaller. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna start touching points and kind of bending these panels around. Oops, let's go like this. And I'm just gonna do this to a few of them. Now, if we have a look at the model, we can see that we've got kind of cool um, floorboards. Now we can put in little divots as if they're nails, but I'm not gonna do that because I think that might, it's detail that probably the 3D printer won't pick up because we wanna be able to print as many tiles as quickly as possible. So I'm not gonna put those divots in because I think that's something we can put in afterwards, you know, just get like even a pen and just hit the pen and it might, it'll might it make some little divots in the um, ground. Now the next thing is, is we want to uh, 
cut out some of this material underneath because nobody's going to be looking at the tiles underneath so let's just butcher this i'm going to select the bottom face i'm going to press i to do an insert bring it in i'm going to press e to extrude and let's do that now the reason why i've done that is because nobody's going to see the bottom so we can just throw on 10 percent filler just so you know this will model up okay and hopefully just save us a lot of plastic now we want to be able to connect these pieces to each other so what we can do is i'm going to do an edge loop okay let's do Control b to bevel it and let's put it in the middle where's the middle i don't know so let's do Control z and undo that Control r and i'm going to do mouse wheel again and that should be in the middle there so let's do the same on the other side good now why did i do that well now what i can do is i'm going to select these four edges or these edge loops let's do Control b and let's try and now remember a standardized size so if i do 0.1 0.1 times whatever it doesn't really matter because we've got that i really can't think right now but i'm going to put an edge loop in here and right click in there so now what we can do is let's go around and delete these four we've got a bit of a problem here where this is crooked so let's select these size whoops let's turn off proportional editing by pressing o let's go size x zero and that'll make everything straight size x zero size x zero and i'm alt right clicking to select the edge loop Whoop. now we're doing size y zero size y zero size y zero size y zero now the reason why i'm making these grooves is because then we can make pins that go in between the pieces so they kind of almost like connect together so let's now i'll do the first one and then we can fast forward it i'm going to select this area which we want to get rid of let's put it in the middle as well and we will have to do this as well size z zero just to make sure they're all even beautiful beautiful and beautiful delete faces now these should be should be about um two and a half mil thick which you know is not a lot but it should be enough so i'm just going to go through all this and so now we've got these pockets in here but what we need to do is put in faces so i'm going to select these two edges face uh, pressing f make a face 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 okay cool so now we've got our boards so now we need to export it as an stl we go file export stl tavern floor one and we want to scale this by 25 because then we have 25 times two millimeters is 50 millimeters which is five centimeters that's what we want which is pretty much two inches we've got z up so now let's go export STL. And now all we've got to do is put it into your slicer program. And voila, please like, subscribe, comment to the video if you want to see something made.